Hello there. I wanted to show you how you could have more than one display when you're using a KVM virtual machine. Um, you might want to use this to test how well your distro supports multi multiple monitors, or um, you might be um, trying to see how your desktop environment supports multiple monitors. And so uh, you might want to run it in a VM and see how well it works. So I'm going to um, try and set it up so that they're both on one monitor because OBS um, I guess I could set up another uh, another source that would capture another screen, but um, just to keep things simple, I'm going to try and do it all on one screen. The trick is you can't use uh, virtual in in your vert manager. You can't do open to look at the VM because that doesn't work. Um, however, what you do want to do is check over here, uh, make sure you're using Spice, and see what port you're using because that's going to be important. You need to connect to that port in order to uh, to connect to the machine. So what you're going to do is you're going to use this program called Remote Viewer and you go, you're going to go to this URI, Spice Localhost 5900. So I will do that. Here's my uh, Fedora VM that we were um, taking a look at before and it's very, oops, and it's very very simple. Actually let me uh, resize it first to make it simpler. So I'm going to resize it here. Okay. And so just to make it really simple to understand what's going on, um, let me go ahead and log in. Um, I'll close out of this Firefox here. All right. So I'll close out of Firefox. Okay. So all you have to do is go to view and displays and you can select different displays which would be equivalent to different monitors hooked up. So you hit display 2 and boom. Now you have two displays set up. And I'll put this oops. Put that right there. And so now I've got two different um, screens here for this VM. And as an example, we will open shot well sure uh, which is a uh, photography program give that a second oh, let's do Firefox I know Firefox will run so there it goes spinning and spinning Ah, and there comes Shotwell. So here's Shotwell. And you see, I can move it from screen to screen. And here's Firefox, which I started. Again, Firefox, I could put it on this screen and have Shotwell over on this screen. Um, obviously, if you want to do this and have it work best, what you would do is um, you would you would have one of these on each of your physical monitors and then it would work almost exactly the same way that it would work when you are um, working with multiple monitors on a um, on a bare metal uh, operating system as opposed to a VM and uh, let's see we can even go ahead and add another display if we wanted to so now we have three displays And we could move Firefox, let's see, over to this display over here. That display, that display. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty pretty neat. Um, it's, it's trying to figure out where these are, which is uh, kind of uh, interesting. <laughs> Again, you'd really want to um, have these set up physically across your different actual real monitors. But uh, there you go. That's how. So, uh, so basically, if I want to disconnect this monitor just go like that and disconnect this monitor over here and now we're back to just a one monitor setup and you see you have your your little corner things there because it's only one monitor so it's uh, extremely simple the key is uh, basically not to use um, this part here like you would normally do where you would um, just see 
um, just see the graphical console because there is no there's no ability here to um, add more more um, displays. Um, there is one more caveat I want to mention just before I go, which is that if you want uh, this only works in this manner for uh, Linux guests, Linux VMs. If you want to do it with Windows, what you would need to do, and let me go to my Windows one here, is you would go here and you would basically add another one of these here under Add Hardware. So you'd add a, another, um, I guess, a graphics card, so to speak, and each of those would get a display, and that's how that would work. So it's a little more complicated on Windows, but not horribly so. But on uh, with Linux guests, it's just uh, cakewalk. So I hope you uh, found that uh, pretty enlightening, and I hope it helps you if you want to play with VMs and multiple multiple um, monitors. This has been Eric, and thanks for watching. Goodbye.